Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon, you're watching Mon Comics, and I was tagged by Comicholics to do a room tour of my comic room. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick uh, room tour of my comic room. Come on in. Uh, this is not your comic book room. Um, yeah, it, uh, it used to be. Okay, let's take them to the real comic room. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take you into uh, my actual comic collecting room. I had my first daughter, so I had to move all my stuff out of that room. So come on into this room. Uh, this is not your comic book room either. You're right, this is my second daughter's room that took over my collection room uh, after we had her. So uh, let me go show you my comic room space. All right, guys, so I hope you liked that funny little intro, but in all honesty, that's how it really went down. Uh, my wife and I moved into our house. We didn't have kids. We were planning on them, so I had one whole room with all my collectibles. Found out my wife was pregnant. Took all my stuff, moved it to the room next door because we had an extra bedroom. Repainted my daughter's, my first daughter's room. Like Got that all set for, a new carpet. Got nestled into my new room. Two years later, along comes our second daughter. And my wife, uh, knowing that I'm an avid collector, bless her soul, said, you know, I've got my business office because she's a photographer. She works, you know, from home editing a lot and she's out doing shoots. She can have some of the, the room. You know, I know this means a lot to you, which it does. Like, I think everyone needs to have some of their own personal little space just to, to disappear into. And I'm very grateful uh, that she digs this stuff, too. She gets it. Um, she gets to pick some of the aesthetic as far as like the original art that goes on the wall. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to take you just through my little nook of happiness, my little room tour. Uh, thanks again to the comic colics for tagging me a channel. I first started watching, uh, that was recommended to me by, uh, Mike from lunch money comics, Alex, the comic quarter, uh, wonderful couple doing their collecting thing. Great display, great books. So thanks for tagging me guys. I was very shy about doing this video, but they said, no, whatever you're working with, let's see it. So uh, let me take you through it. All right. So I thought I'd start out with like a back wide shot of my whole corner because that's what I'm working with. And then I'll go in and explain like how I've set everything up. Uh, but you can get an idea that, you know, I've got my slabs and uh, I used to like be set up where I was just everything was behind me. But then I felt like when I was, you know, in the corner with stuff coming out from the left and right with raw and slabs, it just looked better. Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, the initial, uh, little shot of my room. Then as I move closer, I've got my Predator wall hanger I had an artist do for me. Predator, again, very sentimental because of my father and, uh, mine's connection to the movie. And then, you know, I've got slabs up top that, uh, you know, I try to rotate them down from time to time. Uh, but I do have, you know, I play favorites with the ones down below, uh, you can definitely, if you look at my older videos, you can see how my collecting has evolved, if you will, uh, and some stayed the same, of course, love my Fantastic Four, huge Crow fan, Savage Tales, number one with the first man thing, first Black Panther, my uh, little bit of a more modern, besides something that's killing the children, my Invincible books. And then down into some uh, old tales of suspense, strange tales. Uh, my Daredevil, of course, my man thing, and uh, the weird science books. So when I set this up uh, with the raws, I wanted down below, I wanted like the hero raws. So these three were all, I got those two signed at Terrificon, and this was gifted to me uh, by a gentleman who's a fan of the channel, Terrificon. And then I go into my Daredevils. Uh, I have the first three slabs, and then the rest are raw. And so this is like my hero's wall and it ends with Fantastic Four number 50. And then I've got a little bookshelf right down here with some wonderful original art from Dan Kelly of the Codex Comic Station. Gifted me that. And a little man thing plushie from my boy Travis at Comics Limited. My little Terrificon space with my VIP badge. My uh, Predator uh, Shadow Box gifted me by JP uh, from Absolute Game of Nerds, and then my Charlie Cox signed Daredevil Cowl. And then just, you know, I've got some trade paperbacks. I've got my pictures, just a few comics. I've got a box in order, so nothing will be flat anymore. Uh, Man Thing Lunchbox, some shipping tape, and then some gifted older comics that are uh, reader copies for me and my daughter. So that's just a little more space. And then if you come over here, this is like my monster horror wall some books and, and covers I'm just a little more fond of in the monster stuff. I have a ton of horror and monster stuff. 
as you could uh, imagine, but these are some of my favorites. The Wonder Woman's, you know, those are classic bondage covers from that uh, time in the run that I really enjoy uh, when the code started to loosen up. My Werewolf by Night. And then, you know, my comic collection, there it is, guys. Three short boxes. Uh, I have to keep it small. You can see I don't have much room. This is what I'm working with. Uh, I've got my idea board and Gemini mailers, of course, then some original art that uh, I still need to, you know, get framed and put up on the wall. Speaking of that, I've got this wonderful uh, original art from Digny McFly, the comic book guy uh, that I won during his comic book shout out uh, challenge. This was a pre-production sell gifted to me at my one year channel anniversary from Eric of SideQuest Comics from Man Thing Issue 5. And then, of course, uh, Mike from Lunch Money Comics, big night crawler fan. I'm the Man Thing fan. He gifted that to me. My one year anniversary uh, was done by our mutual friend Ben Taz, who's a wonderful artist. And uh, I've actually got the, the, the full size of one of that that I love. This is a little Boba Fett love because I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Got this at New York Comic Con in 2014. Uh, just kind of like a monster mashup. So uh, that is uh, my comic book area proper right there. I used to collect a ton of action figures. I still have them stored away, but that Jabba the Hutt play set uh, is not sealed in box, but it's complete in box. It was gifted to me by my father before he passed away. We were in an antique show and he found it and, and surprised me and got it and walked up and gave it to me. So that is just really special to me. He was a Steelers fan, as am I. I found that at the same antique show for five bucks, couldn't pass it up. This Predator uh, was also a New York Comic Con 2014 exclusive I picked up when I was there. Uh, Ahab Predator, and then this Predator was gifted to me, and uh, the Joker I traded and got from Up North Comics, uh, my friend Bruce, and then this Predator was recently gifted to me by JP uh, as well from Absolute Game of Nerds. Um, this was my first daughter. Uh, my wife knows a huge Star Wars fan, so she got that little uh, Yoda hat and uh, plushie and gave a proper photo shoot. I love that. Uh, this was a uh, gift to my wife, our first Christmas together. It's by an artist called Tom Whalen, who does wonderful pop culture work. She's, we're both huge fan, fans of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. She told me she wanted it. I founded it, and she has had it for the better part of 13 years now. And then this is a really special piece to me. Uh, it is uh, the Ghostbusters 2 DVD signed by Harold Ramis, who I had the absolute honor of meeting when he was alive. Uh, I know, don't give me guff that I have. It's the uh, Ghostbusters 1 uh, poster up there. I might switch it out at some point, but I was just trying to find a DVD when I heard he was in town to get him to sign quick. I'd love to add uh, Ernie Hudson or Dan Aykroyd to that at some point. Bill Murray's probably a long shot, but uh, uh, just a really special piece to me. So I got a little more room on this on the space uh, on the wall space for some art. Just got to figure out what I want to put up there. So I'd be remiss if I didn't show, you know, this is my desk where I do all my editing and a lot of time where I sit, where I film with my two ring lights. And um, yeah, there's not much to it, but I thought I should at least show the desk area so you know what I'm working with. And I'm literally just in a little corner with all my stuff. So that's it, guys. Thanks for joining me on my very small corner tour. I can't really call it a room because it's just a corner, uh, but it is my little slice of heaven. Thanks again to the Comicholics for tagging me on this. I'm now going to tag my buddy JP from the Absolute Game of Nerds, uh, one half of that uh, YouTube station. JP, show me your collection room, man. I want to see how you got it set up. Go check out his content. He's a wonderful guy. And also check out the Comicolics uh, content as well. Uh, they're great folks. Uh, this week, guys, I know that I usually don't drop a video, but I had time to drop this short video and honor the challenge that they uh, put me up to. Uh, but I got the Big Five Live on Friday, which is going to be awesome. I'm so pumped for it. It's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard, Standard Time, and it features... Four people that I actually got to hang out with at Terrificon. So I've been really looking forward to this. Uh, come hang out with us. Uh, it's going to be a great time. I hope you guys have a great, safe rest of your week. And until next time, keep reading those comics.